the real news of the week. Uh, so Chris Jericho ended up signing a uh, three-year extension with AEW. Ah. Um, and basically uh, keeps him in AEW through t- December 2025. Uh, He's 51 years old now, uh, so they announced it via Variety. Um, so there was like a lot of stuff. Um, like you know, this comes on the heels of the John Moxley extension, with like uh, similar to the in ring. Jericho will be a producer and a creative advisor for AEW, and he's going to continue to mentor uh, young talent. Uh, he basically stated, he said, I guess the answer is simple. Why not? Things have been going so well in the company. I really do feel this is my company. It's tattooed on my heart, so to speak. I've been here since day one. There's really no reason not to be here continuing forward. When AEW first started, I think it was basically Chris Jericho and a group of very talented people that might not have been as well known. Within three months, that changed. And within three years, we've got at least a dozen, maybe two dozen of our homegrown stars that came into their own on AEW television. TK uh, also weighed in. He said Jericho submitted his legacy a long time ago as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. And we're fortunate to have his skills, charisma, knowledge, and insights in AEW for years to come. Chris has discovered a fountain of youth this year, and he's having some of the very best matches of his legendary careers against some of the top names in wrestling. In expanding his responsibilities, he'll continue to serve as a valuable leader with our roster, having the opportunity to utilize one of the most creative minds in the history of wrestling. So um I uh basically, you know, on this show like a couple months ago said he's going to work his way into being like the Pat Patterson of his time. Um and that this seems to be step 1 to uh ensuring that is the case. Uh you know, but I feel like the writing was on the wall for this once Vince McMahon left WWE. There was no way in fuck Chris Jericho was going back to work for Triple H. Uh, if you know about the history of those two gentlemen, it is a cold war like the United States and the USSR. Um, it, it slips through in interviews sometimes. They're they're normally publicly, uh, is you know they're diplomatic. Publicly. They're diplomatic publicly, but it slips through in interviews sometimes, especially when Jericho's talking about NXT because he thinks that shit sucks and he th- he, th- he thought it sucked for a long time. And uh, there's resentment going back to that boat stuff where they wouldn't you know have NXT on the boat. Uh, of course, like Jericho's whole time in you know WWE, him coming in, I imagine Triple H his best friend being Shawn Michaels hearing everybody saying this other guy's the next Shawn Michaels. And he probably thinks he sucks and put, put the brakes on his career a bunch. And, you know, they had that WrestleMania program that didn't really do any favors for either of them really. Um, and, you know, just, just a decade of, and, and also the festival of friendship thing, which I think is like the big most recent thing where, uh, Triple H was trying to get a whole bunch of shit changed. Jericho was like, fuck that went straight to Vince. And then Vince essentially let Jericho do it his way. And I think, you know, there, there's just always a cold war there. Um, so I, I had no doubt, like once Vince was gone, that Jericho was going to like stick around. I'm assuming he, um, you, you know, th- this if anyone was worried about AEW, and I don't think anyone that listens to, th- to this show would be worried about them as far as like, yo, are they going to be viable in the future and stuff like that, right? Because you guys are smart. Um, signing, or at least not dumb. Right. Si- signing through, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> signing through 2025 seems to be like this, like, oh, there's there's money on the way. There's like, you know, there, like there's stuff like for him to not even go to free agency to, to see, he was like, yo, I'll just take this bag now. What do you think that sell, says? And, you know, what's your general reaction to this news? Um, I, I think that it gets him <clears throat> one, it gets him to a point to where like he has his money secured and like if he's, you know, somehow continue wants to continue past 25, like they'll have their new TV deal by then and have money. There'll be money available for him there. And it'll be early enough to where like there won't be like a bunch of in, huge influx of, you know, WWE years or you know another wave of them and like it was with NXT guys like coming in and that sort of thing. So there will be money there as opposed to like a uh, similar situation when they heard about like uh, we were hearing about like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn about like eh, wait to next deal like it's kind of a, you know financially is not you know it's not the right time for you to come over here for us. Um, so I, I think they just put some right in position to get one last bag before on the way out like so um and you know given what he's done this year um i wouldn't have the concerns that i had like last year like he is you know 
I'm not saying that he's perfect or he has great matches time in time out, but like if he's if this is what he's going to do going forward, he can keep doing this forever. Uh, obviously, he won't be able to continue to do this. Forever. My point is like <laughs> last year or 2020 at points, we had a lot of concerns about like is he done? And then you know you know the health scare, the weight loss. This is a you know this is a bounce back here. Like he you know we don't have a comeback wrestler of the year type of award but like he would definitely be in the contention if not like winning it outright at least um so yeah um so once again proves the 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 ancient philosophy never count out chris jericho uh i was very happy to see this news and i was like this is this just comes at a perfect time with him looking like this uh this 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 leader of sorts and like this this uh well of knowledge that's around and Jericho just makes things better. That's been the case in wrestling for how long now? Thirty so, like, years, about. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> if you can lock him up and then like continue to like keep his influences, and you know, this is a guy. You know, I've I've gone time and time again. I'm not going to do the same Jericho segment I always do right now, mm-hmm. but uh, I, I was very happy to see see this, and you know, it, it ensures like you know some of the, the core, like, uh, of AEW is, like, going to be around. Like, you don't have to worry about Jericho, like, you know, taking his ball and headed elsewhere. Like, and, you know, I think he would be very missed if he wasn't around. So, um, but uh, speaking of someone, are you, like, you was going to say something? Oh, yeah, uh, look in the chat. So, a couple things. Uh Jericho's uh, video post for Triple H's 25 years in WWE is so backhanded. Yes, it is. Uh, Jericho had a better feud with Sean than Triple H. Agreed. The Ocho going to HBO Max, baby. <laughs> That's funny. AW podcasting Omaha Steaks. Jericho is loaded. Uh, also, the, uh, was it, uh, you know, the wine of Jericho? He also had that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A lot so. of stuff. Uh, but yeah, what I was referring to was uh, put a check was Zach Zaku Poe. <laughs> put a check, okay, MJG. <laughs> uh, now 